All right, folks, so we've headed down to a local lake where I'm going to try and capture some images of birds. I'm not a wildlife photographer. I've never been a wildlife photographer. So I'm shooting with the Z6 and I'm shooting with the 50 to 250 lens on. Now, this is going to obviously take this down to DX mode, which is going to be giving me files of around about 10 megapixels. So if the files out of these are good, then the files out of the full frame equivalent will be even better. Um, so yeah, we'll just see what we can get. I'll show you guys the POV. You can see where I'm shooting at. I don't normally shoot kind of with the back of the screen. It's normally up to my eye, but we'll see how that goes. If I'm losing the shots, trying to show you guys what I'm shooting, I'll just pull it up in my eye and take some shots and then we'll review them when we get back home on the computer. So let's see if we can capture some, uh, some birds in flight. Should I speed up to birds in flight, maybe what? 1,000, 1,000. And we'll go all the wire, so just caught him at the last minute. Probably going to be a lot of seagulls, I would have thought. Bouncing around. I'm not used to shooting on the back of the screen. So normally I like having it up with my eye. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh. I feel like I'm on a computer game. I'm not even pointing the camera at anything in particular. I'm just trying to get it to see oh they're getting fed up with there's a duck 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 more seagulls this is so hard on the back of the screen oh duck I'm going to hold it up with my eye because I find it so much better See what that's like. Does that work or not? Oh, like that. I think I say we'll go through these. Yeah, got there no bother. Let's try. Let's try some subject tracking. I'm beginning to think I'm a really bad. Bird photographer. It's so difficult trying to catch it when you're uh, trying to catch it with my own subject track and if they come back around there's one. Birds are going absolutely wild. Subject tracking is probably not the best thing to use, but it's doing a good job. Using the subject tracking and just using little bursts of shots is so more effective than just holding it down. It just does an amazing job. Like I'm just saying, like a really amazing job. I mean, these are just phenomenal. Well, not phenomenal in terms of bird photography, but. For me, capturing something in flight is pretty phenomenal. It's just too difficult to try and hold it like that and shoot at the same time. It is really difficult. Let's try auto area EF. Yeah. Because I've been super impressed with just... Sorry, I'll come out of that, actually. Uh, exit that. And we're just going to see what it captures. Because honestly, I've spoken about this before in another video. It's how well it actually does. Don't capture these from round. And it has this canny knack of uh, just doing such a good job of capturing the birds in flight. Just in, it's picking it itself. So that was just a quick test with the uh, the subject tracking and dynamic area EF. Two of the modes that I kind of use when I'm shooting birds in flight and that I found most effective. What I have found really effective though is when I'm shooting subject tracking. I think actually my preference will be subject tracking from now on. Um, because it just locks on straight away I mean even when it loses focus like following around I don't use it to kind of just frame it up and just let that box follow it around in the frame I use it almost like a single point but once it locks on it locks on really well and that's kind of reminiscent of the D500 when I used to use that um, the track on that was phenomenal this has been really good obviously trying to hold it out in front of the GoPro so you guys can see is really difficult but when you hold it up your eye obviously the hit rate is so much better and don't forget about using single point autofocus in continuous mode as well because obviously that's the way I used to always shoot 
all of the time um, and you'll get probably 100% hit rate every single time so don't forget that neither and um, we're going to head back now we're going to have a look at the images on the computer and see uh, see how they've turned out so i'll see you back in the studio all right folks back at the computer where we're going to look through some of the images now i'm not going to go through every single image that i shot there there was quite a few i did put them up on screen so you guys will be able to see how the camera performed and which images were in focus but we'll look at a little bit more detail right now and what i thought i'll do is i'll go through a few shots using dynamic area ef a few using subject tracking and full area ef to give you guys an idea of how the camera performed now these are low res 10 megapixel files because obviously i'm shooting with a dx lens so it crops it right down on the z6 so bear that in mind and these are straight out of camera what you're seeing are the raw files straight out of camera with no adjustments so we'll get started and we'll go through this first sequence using dynamic area af as you can see it's missed focus on this first one but then straight away it's grabbed and we'll wait for the computer to kind of catch up a little bit you can see that's nice and sharp on to the next one again we'll just wait there you go nice and sharp lovely and focus and the last one in this sequence nice and sharp again does a really good job of capturing the birds in flight and um, i've been impressed with it so let's have a look at another sequence um we'll try this one let's have a look at this one this is a bit further out with a lot of noisy background and um, to confuse the camera but let's grab focus there nice and sharp coming around again has a grab focus yep it's grab focus on that one too and the next one is this one in focus or not yep that's grab focus also and this one is it hit this one yep lovely and sharp and that one yep obviously i'm shooting auto iso so the iso is up and down so we'll look at a sequence with using subject tracking and you can see obviously it's nailed that shot straight away if we move through this sequence of shots we'll see how well it does and yep that one's in focus as well next one yep grabbed it lovely busy background so it makes it more difficult for the camera to focus on is this one nailed it yep that one's in focus also this one's coming around is that one in focus that one's slightly that's focus on the background there that's out of focus that one's out of focus also and then it comes back around and it's grabbed on again and we'll go through that sequence yep grab that one also and it's flying away now and that's lovely in focus come back towards me now subject tracking yep lovely in focus that one out of focus lovely in focus nice and sharp nice and sharp again nice and sharp yep nailed it i like that little turn in the head there super sharp again and there's another one it's done a really good job there in subject tracking i think that's going to be my preferred mode shooting when i'm out shooting birds and um, i really enjoyed how it performed i really did so there you go folks i hope you guys have found that helpful i know there was quite a few people out there who wanted to see how it performed who were interested in how the camera actually performed now i must admit i do believe i've actually hindered the z6 II by using the dx lens if i was using a faster lens i do believe it would perform even better and um, but it still performed really really well and it was grabbing 95 percent of the shots like i said and i think down to the five percent missed it's definitely down to my technique they're trying to hold out in front of the gopro so you guys can see so i really hope you found this helpful folks if you have please give it a thumbs up because it helps get this video out further for more people to see if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing to the channel and flicking the notification bell so you can see when more videos are posted and i'll see you guys in the next one see you then